I've participated in a couple of Trail Regnar events near Mount Rainier and completed several Tough Mudder and Warrior Dash races. Although I spend the majority of my time running on roads, I absolutely love trail running, since my focus is more on the trail and the obstacles rather than on the running itself. For the past month, I've been running with a lightweight trail shoe that has been great for summer trails and for those gravel trails down here in Colorado. Hello everybody, this is Matthew Miller, also known as Palm Solo, and thanks for visiting the Mobile with Matt YouTube channel. I appreciate your views and your support. Please subscribe and share my channel with your friends and family. So the kind folks at Verd PR sent along a pair of the Mammut Sertig TR Low Trail Running Shoe for me to test out for the past month. I was sent, as you can see here, the black and dark tangerine color in size 12, and I didn't even tell them that orange was one of my favorite colors. This shoe is much lighter than the past Brooks and Vamazi trail running shoes that I ran in that had a sole plate on them and some beefier instruction with more cushioning. But I appreciate the weight of 320 grams on each of these shoes. I don't run long ultras on trails and I generally stick with three to eight miles. So with these designed for the mid distance runner, these are about perfect fit for me. One of the first things I noticed when I opened the box, other than the black and orange color, was that speed lace system. This speed lace system is designed for you to easily put on the shoe and tighten it up and then not have to worry about laces that might come untied. You simply put the shoe on, pull the string, slide down the clamp, and then slide in the extra underneath the loop that's built into the tongue of the shoe. It is the first time I've ever tested a shoe with this kind of system and I haven't had it get loose on me at all and it has performed extremely well. Sometimes when I lace shoes, I might lace them a little bit too tight and I feel some pressure on my foot. I'll have to stop, untie my shoe and retie them. I haven't actually even noticed any tightness on this shoe and that speed lace system has been fantastic. The shoes have a stack height of 20 millimeters and a heel drop of eight millimeters. So they're fairly flat compared to some of the other road running shoes I've used and even some of the trail shoes I've used. I appreciate this for trail running where I really don't want to be too removed from the dirt under my feet but I do want protection from rocks and tree roots and the gravel that's underneath my feet. The EVA midsole and the foam lined ankle provide good cushioning, but there is no rock plate in the center or toe guard. So be careful if you run on more severe terrain. These really aren't designed for that kind of terrain with lots of heavy rocks that you might find on a mountaintop. The Certic TR clearly provides a flexible, lightweight, and well cushioned ride with protection and stability being fairly low. So the shoes are intended for fairly benign trails and terrain. I've been running on some local trails in Washington State that did have some roots and some leaves and that's been fine. And then down in Colorado, I've been running on mostly gravel trails and it's perfect for gravel trails with excellent grip on the bottom of the shoe and nice protection. I get pretty warm when I run and the forefoot of this is composed of breathable mesh. So my feet never were too hot, even running here in 85 degree weather. And the shoes also dried out extremely well because I'm often running in rain in Washington state. It may not be pouring rain, but it's often drizzly. I bring, come back from a run, put the shoes up, let them dry out, and the next day they're ready to go again. I had a broken and dislocated ankle when I was in high school, so I've really spent a lot of time building up the strength of my ankles, and I have strong ankles. But with this low cut shoe, the low ankle support is something to consider. I don't like having my ankles too restricted either. I've tried some of the higher shoes and that bothers me. So as long as the bottom of my foot is well protected and cushioned, I'm happy with it, and I do like the lower shoe. These shoes are priced at $149 and are available in black and tangerine color, as well as a dark tangerine and white, and a black and neo-mint color. The Verd PR folks must know that orange is one of my favorite colors, and I love these shoes. I've now run on trails in Washington, Colorado, as well as roads, and I'm very pleased with the performance of these shoes. I appreciate the lightweight, low profile, quick lace design, and the good looks. This is the first shoe I've ever tested from Mammut, and I've been pretty happy with them. The $149 is very reasonable for a trail running shoe that also works well for just going out on the town or for road running. Thanks everybody for watching. Please subscribe and share. Interact with me here and stay tuned for more coverage of health, wellness gear, e-bikes, wearables, smartphones, and other mobile technology. May the mobile force be with you.